Absolutely, yes guys, welcome back guys to my channel. So today is a Friday, the first Friday of the month, and we did an NFP live stream. So in this video, I'm gonna show you, share you, uh, and, and show you basically what happened during our live stream and uh, where the market's headed. So we had the positive news release for the NFP, for non-farm payrolls which we uh, you know which we saw during the live stream and we also you know played several trades i gave you several signals so in this video guys i still have one last trade which is gold trade which is still running in front of your eyes uh, as you can see right here i'm making 50 over 50 percent return on my investment also guys i have other trades uh, closed so guys make sure you watch this video until the end and we're gonna i'm gonna show you share you and and and, and show you exactly how much i was able to generate in profits during uh, our uh, nfp non-farm payroll and also guys make sure you watch this video until the end so that you can so that you will understand how to uh, participate and how to trade nfp the next time because nfp is the biggest news release of the month and we as a forex traders can generate really really great profits by placing short period uh, you know trades so let's get started guys right so uh, let me just close this trade right here so uh, it goes the, the gold guys is then nothing you know gold has found its support already so I should close this trade so let's do it one two three Yep, 1,563 euro and 30, 36 cents. Here we go, guys. I will open uh, on this account right here. So I made 62.53% return on my investment uh, in one hour and 42 minutes. This is my uh, opening price, and this is my uh, now it's all uh, this was my exit price right here. And uh, yeah, why I close it? Because it already found its uh, support right here. You see, the 55 minute support has been found uh, and the uh, momentum has been developed. As well as if you look at it, all the older time frames, there's no question to ask that, you know, this is where the price could retrace and start to go up again. When, uh, yeah. So let me just say, so 1,563. So the previous trades, these three trades right here, I made uh, not, well, as I told you guys, you know, um, well, the markets was, you know, Markets moved, you know, but I didn't place my trades at the, at the best possible entries, of course, you know, uh, because I was doing my live stream and you saw it, I was so rushing, you know, and all of those trades, you know, I placed from my laptop. But the thing is this, that uh, it's always better to be safe rather than to be sorry. That's why I exit my trades, uh, you know, I exited my trades a little bit early, some, some of you may think. So this is my entry points. Let me show you the what is biggest trade. Okay, so USDJPY was the biggest trade, and we made uh, yeah 425 euro profit on this one. Uh, yes, as I told you. So uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. so here we go. So uh, yeah, again, you see when you take a look at uh, when you take a look at it, you know, um, well the price now is already you know. So I closed it at 922. Uh, wow. I closed it at 922, beautifully. Yes, and uh, wow, actually, wow. So I was able to get it, you know, at the. But you see, this is the thing, you know, it, it will not, it's really hard, guys, to, to, to open your trade, you know, here and uh, and then you exit it at the next. Why I exited this trade? I told you guys that I exited my trade. I told you this exactly during the live stream, but I exited this trade at 122. Uh, two. This is significant. This is a really great trade. One two two, and the trade went up to one two se nine two seven. Okay, so so I exited at nine two two, guys. All here, all on open. Okay, uh, but uh, why did I close this trade at this uh, at this at this trade? Was well, simply because I was showing, I was telling you that I was looking at one hour one hour chart, and on a one hour chart I saw, yeah, this area right here. Okay, these candlesticks and this this candles, these two candlesticks and this candlestick right here. And I, I exited this trade ex immediately, you know, when I saw this action happening. And as, a, as you know, guys, before we exit the trades, simply look at your bigger time frame, look at that resistance for your buy trade, and then look at smaller time frames, for example, such as five minutes, a five minute time frame. And whenever you see a retracement happening from your, uh, you know, on your five minutes, then this is your uh, opportunity to exit that trade. So, yeah, but not one. So on one minute, let me take a look at one minute. Yeah, exactly. So if you if you can see that in five minutes, take a look at one minute. 
Again, guys, there is no specific, you know, uh, the ideal time frame to look at. You should always take a look at several time frames. So one hour to make the biggest, big, you know, to, to see the big picture for the support resistance, and then five minutes to see where you could exit the market. Uh, so yeah, so I can see. Yeah, so one one minute you can see clearly that here was the first candlestick. Look at this, look guys, green candlestick and NFP. The price goes up and boom. I, when, I, when we saw the first candles, you know, they're showing you uh, that the momentum is over and the momentum is you know, developing to be on a bearish side. When you see the first candle opening uh, you, the opposite direction, which means the red candlestick opened, you know, uh, to, it's going to go down, I exited the trade and I made nice 425 euro profit. Uh, yeah, so make sure you watch 5 minute charts and 1 minute charts when you exit the trade. Right, so the NFP news release was released at uh, 1.30 or uh, half past 1 GMT time uh, and as you can see it was right here, right here, so non-farm payroll was positive as well as the, uh, as well as the unemployment change was positive, okay? Uh, and so, basically speaking, you know, due to this positive news release, we knew that uh, the USD will go up so the USD CHF we placed a uh, buy trade uh, as well as for USD JPY we placed buy trade as well. So USD CHF buy, USD JPY buy of course. As you can see here on a one hour chart this was the time when NFP was released. So let me just show you exactly what I you know exactly how it happened. So then, here we go. So NFP, oh, NFP was released in here uh, at 1.30. Uh, and this is exactly where we saw this crazy, crazy price increase. Like here, boom! So we, so the price went up here for the first in the first minute. Then we had another second and third wave, but we entered the market early. So let me just go back here. So this is the last trade. So okay, so total. So here we go. So the USD positive news release was uh, what positive news release was for the non-farm payrolls. And, you know, due to that positive news release, we know that USD will go up. So if the USD goes up, we place buy trades for USD JPY, buy trade for USD CHF because they are related to each other and they move in the same direction. And opposite, we know that if the USD goes up, we should sell gold at the same time because gold is intercorrelated, okay? If the, if the USD goes up, gold drops significantly immediately. That's why we place gold trade, sell trade in here. And the Euro USD is opposite again. In the Euro USD we sell because dollar goes up. So here was our uh, gold trade right here, uh, where we made this 62%. So I made 62.53% return on my investment. Let me just close this. And uh, we made uh, so I made 302 euro on this. One. So total profits, guys. I was uh, in total. I we made uh, 2,543 euro and 11 cents in pretty short period of time, right? Uh, well, uh, we, the longest was this gold trade, which I closed just now, okay? But uh, yeah, guys, so here we go. There's, uh, there is no magic in trading, guys, okay? Make sure, guys, you, you know, you uh, watch my previous videos about the NFP news release, because NFP news release is really, really great, you know, way to generate short-term profits, but significant profits in short period of time. Because everything, uh, everything comes to the fundamentals, which was released about NFP right here. Uh, and yeah guys, so and these were the pairs we were focusing on today. So Yera USD, GUSD JPY, GBP USD, USD CHF Gold. So I did not trade the AUD USD and the GBP USD uh, also, you know, I didn't I, I didn't I didn't focus on this one because there was a lot of uncertainty about the GBP, you know, so I had it had it, I, I kind of let the GBP uh, go today. I let it today, okay? Because of that, you know, uncertainty in, in Britain. But, uh, however, you know, it doesn't matter, guys. We still made the nice, nice profits. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or any issues or if you have any problems or any help, uh, if you need any help in trading, you're always welcome to email me at incommentorbox at gmail.com. And also, guys, please get your free ebook. If you didn't get a free ebook already, and go to my academy website, which is incommentorbox.com. You're gonna get this pop up, and you will get the chance to get your free ebook and free MetaTrader 5 indicator for support and resistance. Uh, yeah, so this is a free for you guys. Go there and get it for free if you're interested. But yeah, guys, but always remember there is no magic in trading. Education and practice is the key for long term success. Trade safely, trade responsibly. I love you all. Watch the news, watch the charts, okay? And enjoy your profits. 
And uh, yeah, and uh, I'll see you again, you know, and then see you again in the next video. Love you all, guys, and bye bye.